Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Brass 1.16. This series will have two playlists, one edited and one unedited. So make sure you're in the right one before you thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for more modded Minecraft and if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm your host E-Day, bringing you more Let's Play Brass 1.16. Uh, so I changed a little bit uh, in between. I just left it, this on AFK, uh, trying to figure out what I liked best. And I decided to switch these guys out with depots. So now we can right click instead of throwing items. It's something I should have thought of earlier, but uh, hey, it works now. So I right clicked an entire stack here and I've left it washing for over 24 hours, so you don't have to worry about stuff de or being destroyed. This, on the other hand, uh, I put a singular piece of aluminum on here, it turned it into an ingot, and I decided to leave it on the depot. And uh, it took a really long time, but the ingot did get destroyed, so that's unfortunate. Uh, I did test it out with some nether brick, and uh, I'm really happy. Today we're finally going to be busting open the gate for immersive engineering. So uh, at the very end of last episode we made the hammer, which the hammer is uh, not a complicated recipe. It, I think it's actual modded Minecraft regular engineer's hammer re recipe. If they changed it, it was changed from iron ingots to iron clusters uh, from create. So it, it shouldn't be that hardcore of a recipe. Today we're going to be making the blast uh, brick for the, uh, the blast oven so we can make steel and before that of course we're gonna make coke brick so we can make the coke oven for coal coke and we're also going to make the kiln oven which this is kind of funny uh, this is going to let us bypass the chopping block for making bronze so this is the first modded pack that I have played where I'm excited about the kiln oven. Usually there's uh, there's better ways of alloying, like Tinker Smeltery, for example. But that's not in this pack, so I'm actually excited about the, the kiln oven for once. I think that's pretty funny. Uh, so let's see, what we need is... We're going to need regular bricks. We're going to need nether bricks. We're going to need uh, obsidian, okay. And I wanted to show you guys something with magma blocks too that I thought that I found out. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then what else do we need? Sandstone, right? Yeah, sandstone. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, brass covers. They should be in here. Yeah, we got twelve brass covers. We have our espresso. Let's drink that. There we go. So now we have speed and haste. Cool beans. And I did notice that whenever we drink one of these guys, it changes it to eaten, no noticeable effect, because uh, I'm pretty sure there's, there's nothing involving Spice of Life when it comes to coffee mod specifically. So let's jump into this one. Uh, I'm really excited. Let's make the Coke brick first. So we one craft of this makes nine so we need three crafts of these guys and let's see it is a different design so let's paint this design with the covers block this one this one like this and then let's look at it again coke oven all right it's a three by three and then one on each side so we have the three by three in the middle and one on each side. Okay, so that's what we need to do. The uh, coke brick. Bricks, smooth sandstone, obsidian mortar. An obsidian mortar is washed powdered obsidian. Powdered obsidian is obsidian through the crushing wheels. And then I need to clear my throat. I don't know why it does this from time to time, so warning. <coughs> I'm really sorry. It's something that's been happening to me this year. I don't know why. Uh, it's like my throat starts to seal up. 
Anyways, so let's grab our obsidian and toss it through the crusher, our fast boys here, obsidian. And what's cool is it, it will crush the obsidian into pulverized or powdered obsidian. It also has a 75% chance of giving you the piece of obsidian back from what I understand in the recipe. So let's check this out, yeah. So you toss one piece of obsidian in, you get powdered obsidian, and you have a 75% chance of getting a piece of obsidian. So, what's that math? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys can help me with that. But there's a 75% chance that it won't use up the obsidian you toss in, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, let's see, we have 24 powdered obsidian, and we have, we've already gotten 19 obsidian back. I already forgot what number I threw in. Was it 33? I think I threw in 33 pieces of obsidian. The hopper is empty. It's no longer dropping. I think that's all. Nice. I think that's pretty cool. So we still have obsidian. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I wanted to show you guys, which uh, I'm not sure if you guys will care, but I thought it was pretty exciting. Magma blocks. Magma blocks are very easy to harvest. So if you go to the nether and you find a big chunk of magma blocks, pick those up because uh, I found out you can right click magma blocks. You can wash them into, drum roll please, obsidian. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Now I need to get more uh, magma blocks just in case. Uh, I, I need to make some encased fans. But I wanted to show you guys because it's so much easier to harvest magma blocks. Okay, so the powdered obsidian, we're going to toss that, wash it, it will turn into obsidian mortar, which create needs in this mod pack to uh, use in the mechanical crafter for the uh, immersive engineering stuff. I'm excited. We're going to bust open the steel age today. So ready for steel. There we go. Wet lava. Okay, so what we need is bricks and sandstone. Okay, and then it was, I keep forgetting. Sandstone is the cross shape in the middle. So like this, cross shape. We got bricks on the outside run. And then we have mortar in the middle. There we go. And that will make us one craft of nine. We need a total of 27, of course, to make this multi-block. So let me show you guys one of them popping out. Bloop. There we go. We got nine. So I'm going to go ahead and make two more crafts of these guys. So that's our 27. I wanted to put our immersive engineering stuff over here. Oh yeah, and this is Hellbark Planks, Biomes of Plenty. It's from Hellbark Trees in the Nether. Wanted to see if I like this color. I think it looks kind of cool. The problem is this tree grows only with one piece of wood at a time. Like it's one of those trees that uh, 
it has only a singular stump and a whole bunch of uh, leaves around it. So let's free this up just a little bit. I'm probably going to change this around because, you know, I get my fits. Let's go. Let's go one in the ground. Wow, what am I doing? Let me see. What Paxil am I using? Am I, I'm using the right Paxil. Okay. So let's put this guy right here. Three. Like this. And then, yep, I got the hammer. Bing. There we go. And I'm going to make this look a little bit better, of course. It's hard to make this guy look good since he is uh, a perfect cube, you know? So let's drop in our coal. This will start smelting into coal coke and it will start getting us uh, creosote so we can make treated wood. Awesome. That one is done for right now. So let's jump into making the next item which is the blast oven. So we can get ready to uh, uh, smelting some steel. Same recipe except sandstone, it has nether bricks in the middle. Let's go ahead and do our, that's hell blank. Yeah, no, not that. All right, so nether bricks have the, the cross shape in the middle, obsidian mortar, and then bricks on the outside. There we go. I love watching this guy work. I know I can make it faster, but uh, I don't see myself auto crafting in this pack with Create. Uh, so I'm I'm content with learning how to how, learning how to use this mod first before going crazy and fine tuning every single machine. There we go. That's our nine blast brick. So I'm going to do this craft uh, another two times. And look, there's our 27. So what I'm gonna do, that washed iron ore that we grabbed from over here, let me toss that here, a stack of washed, so we can start blasting it. And let's go ahead and put the, ooh, let me see. Right here is where I want the, uh, the kiln to go, kiln oven. Let me move this a little bit over. This is all going to become the immersive engineering room. All right, and then here, like this, is going to be our yes, glass brick, steel making equipment. Okay, looks like I got the uh, advancement uh, from placing down the first piece. Okay, so right here, bing, there we go. Do we have any? We have coal coke already. So let's see, oh, what I can do is this. Let's go ahead and make some of these. Alrighty. 
Okay, I can do that too. Did I pick it up? It didn't make a sound. So coal, coke, and we'll put in some iron and that'll start smelting us some steel. Yes, happy. As soon as we pick up that piece of steel, we're going to get our uh, advancement for steel age. And here's our stack of iron that we ran through the, uh, the uh, blasting, ore blasting. Let's go ahead and make the final uh, immersive engineering uh, kiln. So we need sandstone. Oh, look, the middle needs a crafter cover. Boop, there we go. Okay, so sandstone on the edges. There, there, like this. Okay, and then it was, okay, the corners are going to be bricks. And then these guys are going to be obsidian mortar. There we go. What's awesome about this craft is it makes you all eight that you need for this uh, multi-block. So you only need to do one craft of this guy. Awesome. And boop. Cool. So we have the eight. Let me go ahead. Oh no, all of my ore is over here now. All of my ore processing gets fired through here. So let's see, crushed copper, zinc, silver, tin. So what would that be? Use. Uh huh, okay. Use on kiln brick. I guess it's not gonna show me the kiln oven. Do they have to be in? Let's see. Let's just do eight and eight. Can I do more than one item on the depot at once? Nope, it switches them out. So we can hold more than one uh, as an output, but not as an input. All right. And then we'll smelt these guys. We also have the nuggets we can work with. Whoops. And let's go copper. And tin. Let's drop off these nuggets. There we go. And then over here in the middle, let's go ahead and drop this guy. Not gonna let me reach, huh? Boop, there we go. All right, put those two pieces of dirt back, like that. And now, let's go, we can make, copper, tin, Boom, bronze. Finally, we can get rid of the chopping block. I'm really happy about that. Yep. All right. This guy, can we manually change these around? Like that, is that? No, it's still immersive engineering. So we don't have ore dictionary with immersive engineering copper ingots, but we can do that. There we go. Awesome. Cold Coke, creosote. There we go. And you guys ready? Nice. That feels good. Steel ingots. There we go. Oh, that feels great. We got steel. And now with steel, we can open up uh, resourceful bees. All right, for the rest of the episode, what I wanted to do was work on uh, a power source. 
because we can go either with the manual centrifuge or we can go with the powered centrifuge like that so we'll let the steel go and uh, let's start working on a power source what i want to do is i want to make this hv capacitor because uh, it has a bigger buffer we can just jump straight into that one we need three pieces of steel. We need aluminum, treated wood, redstone, and lead. All right. So let's see, what do we have in here? We have aluminum. Think lead. Let's go ahead and start washing these guys. Wash the aluminum, we can wash the lead next. I wonder if you turn up the fan, like the rotations per minute on uh, the washing, if it makes this process faster. Probably. All right, we have aluminum. Let's use the nuggets. Aluminum, steel. Waiting for the lead. All right. Lead. Oops, that gave us nine. There we go. Alright, drop off that. We have lead. We need, what, three more pieces of lead? Washed lead. Toss that stack in there. We're also going to need, alright, two pieces of aluminum and treated wood. Block of redstone. Let's go ahead and grab some redstone. go. Nine pieces of redstone. We need a bucket and we need some planks. All right, let's go eight pieces. All right. And grab the lead while we're here. All right, and one bucket like this. There's our bucket of creosote and surrounded in wood, makes treated wood. Drop this bucket in here. All right, so we have our treated wood, we have our block of redstone, we need our block of lead. We have, I guess this one won't clear. We have our steel that we need. And let's see, HV capacitor, perfect. Go straight into HV. So now we can, let's see, let me put this guy down. And let's go input. No, I wanna do output on each side. It does remember how you program it. Okay, output. Let me put it up high real quick so we can get the bottom. Output. I do like programming these guys to have output on all sides. So let's go ahead and put you right here for right now. Or no, I'm sorry guys, I meant input. I like programming these guys to have input on all sides. That way when I put it down against something, I know that it is pulling power into it. Okay. We'll put him right there, input on all sides. 
Next thing that I want to work on is going to be a passive power source for the HV capacitor. And I'm going to go with a uh, thermoelectric generator for this pack. We need some more steel. We need constantan plates, copper coils, LV coils, copper wires. So we need copper sheets. I think we have some in the create section. Let me check before I waste some of our copper. Let's see. We have copper ingots, but we don't have copper sheets. So let's go ahead and let's do, we need eight, this makes four. We need eight copper wires. We need eight plates. Eight. Let's pound these guys. We could use the uh, engineer's hammer, but uh, this one has durability and this one does not. We need to make the wire cutters though. So let's go ahead. Okay, that's just iron and stick. Perfect. No altered recipe. Whoops. That. That. Eight of these guys. And let's go eight of these guys. And surround it in iron. makes a copper coil block, perfect. So now we have the copper coil block. We're gonna get the steel, we need constant tan. So we need six crafts of these, we need nickel and copper. Go ahead and grab the copper from, ooh, I have a stack of immersive engineering copper in here, probably from uh, testing the blast furnace with all those nuggets. All right, so what we need is going to be nickel. And I do believe we picked up some nickel, crushed nickel. Let's go ahead and wash that. The crushed nickel, we can then run through our new alloy kiln. We only need three pieces of nickel for now. Toss this. not used to uh, them not looking like thermal foundation. Nickel is supposed to be like a yellow. All right. Tin, we got bronze, two pieces of nickel and two pieces of copper. And of course, coal. Hmm. I should be using charcoal. While this is doing that, I do have charcoal. Where I, did I look up there? Okay, 57, 57, 57. We have an overabundance of wood. We have so much wood that we really don't need. Let me toss more in here, and let me just, yeah, there we go. As far as I understand, this, uh, this guy will work on charcoal. So we have constant tan. Oh, we need one more, so one more nickel and one more copper. So we can make the constant and ingots. We need five of them. There we go. And then with this, we can hammer them into plates. Awesome. Let's go. We need one more piece of steel. There we go. Let me resupply this guy as well. And let's go thermoelectric generator. Nice. <clears throat> let's go ahead and put you right here for right now in the ground. The 
top is going to be the output. Uh, let's go ahead and set this guy up. Okay, so we need water and lava, and conveniently, we have the lava. Lava, lava, we only need two. Water, water, okay. So opposite sides, lava here, lava here makes power, and then lava here, and lava here makes power. Thermoelectric generator doesn't make uh, as much power as uh, the water wheel, but I feel like doing something different. Okay, let's go. Mm, eight. I'll figure out something to make this look cool. I, I just want to get it up and running for right now. I don't want to do something really doofy and drop something important into the lava. So what I'm going to do is cover it like this. Now that all sides are input, bloop, yep, it's gaining power slowly. The main reason why I went HV capacitor over uh, going with the uh, LV capacitor is because this has a bigger buffer. As you can see, it already has 11,000 uh, RF inside of it. This is temporary. I AFK a lot, so from what I feel, this guy is always going to be full and always outputting the maximum that the HV capacitor can output. So the next thing that I want to work on is going to be resourceful bees. Resourceful bees are going to need a centrifuge. So with this centrifuge, we need smooth stone, we need pistons, steel, and buckets, uh, but this is all kind of relevant to next episode. That's the trouble, like I could burn this pack down like all in one week, I feel, but I want to section this off so that uh, the episodes make sense. I can't have a resourceful bees episode and uh, already have stuff made for it. So this is the groundwork. Uh, I can make this all look nicer because this is all going to go inside of the immersive engineering section. So this wall would extend to about here, right? Make another square. And then we could build a stairwell into our... Uh, Mine shaft that's down there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me drop off some of my stuff. What's kind of a bummer is that chest down there is not going to have enough room for all of my ingots. Ingots. I need to make an ingot chest, I guess. And I guess bricks kind of look like ingots. that off. We don't need this. Well, they are tools. Let's go ahead and put the tools back in. All right, and we need two buckets of water. For our infinite water source and for our emergency. Let's drop off this. Create. And blocks. Ooh, where did my hellwork go? Black wall, nether. Oh, that is wood. So let's go ahead and put it over here. Okay. Let's check this guy out. He's still turning. We have sixty-five thousand wood. We don't need this much, guys. Whoops. Axel is too good. Alright, 
that's good. Wait, it's still locked in that thing, yeah. Okay. Resupply this guy with some wood. I know we can also grab from here, because that stuff is full now. Uh, I also found out we can smelt, I believe. We can smelt soul sand into scoria, which I thought was pretty cool. So soul sand, if you wanted to gather soul sand, you could smelt it into scoria. Let's go. We need pillars. Okay. Scoria pillar. Let's start working on this guy. Let's do it during the day, though. here. We are going to go... Hmm. Should we go up one to make this look staggered? Or should we keep the center of the base higher than the rest of the wings? I'm not going to... Oh man, that's a tough decision right there. Let me look at the map. We have room to expand here and here. So yeah, let's make this the center and it's raised. From here, we're going to run this way. And what's great, it was right here on this edge. Okay, head this way. go. I'm glad my eye caught that. All right, so we need Gabra, a bunch. Let's go ahead and grab Gabra. Should be able to do this. Yep. Okay, we got pillars. We need Gabra. Bricks. We're probably going to need a lot more. Paved Gabra. Paved Gabra. All right, I think we're gonna need a lot more than this. This guy will extend from, hmm. I didn't extend this way, did I? What does the inside of the room look like? Okay, yeah, the wall does come into the room over here. All right, let me close that door so that no plague doctors decide to come inside of our house. I actually AFK'd last night and a pave doctor came in through one of my open doors and pushed me into my campfire and I burned to death. So frustrating. But how this, how is this wall going to connect? I think I had that problem in this corner. leaves us space, right? Like that. Let me check. Do I have a corner that is flush? I have the beam inside. beam is inside. This is where I extended it, right? Oh yeah, I skipped it. Hmm.
So from here. Makes things a little bit more complicated. Can I zoom in? Yeah. Yeah, because these rooms are not exact. Let's see, this corner is going to be like that too. And then this guy. Let's just keep building and then I'll edit it uh, later. If something really bothers me, if something's totally off. <clears throat> Let's see. this go here then okay so let's go ahead and grab this all right I got silk touch here we go all right this back up. These guys. All right, I got rid of all the dirt, bummer. Okay, this guy. push it back one, right? And then it won't line up anymore. No, I will. Because this wall is supposed to be pushed back. So I'm pushing it back one. Like that. use my silk touch. keep this open since we're going to make some stairs over here. This looks good now, we just have to get rid of the third. Dirt needs to be replaced with Gabbro to make the foundation look better. All right, we do have the dirt now. Oops. This mineshaft I'll probably do in between episodes.
We'll bring this down one. Three more. Almost perfect. One more. And then I'm going to have to figure out how to clean this part up since that's where the dirt was peeking through when we uh, uh, paved the uh, dirt on this side. Got a lag spike. That happens from time to time. I am saving up for a new computer. As soon as we get a new computer, we can uh, up the frame rate and all that good stuff. Oh man. This is a pretty bad lag spike. <clears throat> Come on, dude. Yep, but when you're streaming, this stuff happens. Big difference between a streamer that is YouTubing and a YouTuber that turns into a streamer. YouTube, you can just edit all of this stuff out. Uh, when you're streaming, stuff happens. Unexpected things happen. You can't just stop recording and then come back later the next day when you have uh, a better plan. Yeah, I remember RL Craft. There was a couple of times where my pack crashed and I had to cut the stream early because the pack crashed. And uh, my computer, it's like a 10 minute load for certain mod packs. It was, it was like too close to the end of the stream for me to reload and get everything up and running again. So I had to cut the stream early. Looks like this might be one of those cases, unfortunately. The downside of being a streamer. But I do like to think that uh, streaming, there we go, streaming uh, does prepare me to roll with the punches. When unexpected things happen, you got to keep going. You can't just quit streaming and go come back another day with an edited YouTube video. All right. So I guess should I keep all of this stuff in my inventory for when we start the episode? Instead of placing it down, I can place it all down. Maybe in the corner here. I can put it down to begin the episode because we need a power source for the centrifuge, right? We can make the centrifuge and then we can go hunt bees. And uh, I need an enclosed room for the bees, right? I don't want the bees flying into... Oh, maybe that'd be, that'd be cool. What do you guys think? If I leave this open, maybe just close the outside and let the bees fly around inside my base? No, that I'd have to cut off too much. Maybe close off just this room with glass and then let the bees fly around in this room. That might be cool. Go. Let's get some more steel going. This definitely needs to get turned into a mine shaft. I don't want it to just be a door that goes outside. And then should I continue with planks or should I do the stripped, stripped oak? Kind of like stripped oak. Let's continue on with stripped oak and some gabbro. Because this room, I like this simplistic design. It's, uh, it's simple and fun. Sim uh, not what, what was it? Minimalist. I'm a minimalist when it comes to art. Uh, let's see, we need oak, we need more gabbro. Oh, we're down to 20. I know gabbro. Yeah, you smelt granite, or blast granite, turns into gabbro. 
Let's see, we need more of the paved fabro. We need the, let's see, we can make more of the paper walls. Whoops, that was a little too hardcore. Over here, yeah. Oop, that's one. We can run the oak. Now you know why I made these on different levels. <laughs> I want to be able to run across. Run and jump across, okay. Two more. There we go. Get rid of you, ah, uh, okay, fine. Let's go this way. And, oh, a wandering trader. Where are you, homeboy? What you got? Bucket of tropical fish? Are you serious? You have nothing good for sale. What a waste, man. Wandering trader. I did get these boots. Runeforge Greaves. Protection 5. Mending. Unbreaking 5. Stable footing. Feather falling 5. For only uh, 35 emeralds. It's pretty pimp. Okay. Back to what we were doing. The stream is almost over. I'm glad the pack caught up. We are right here. And then let's run up here. Up. And do this. Oh, perfect. I don't need to cut that piece down. And let's go along the top. This way. There we go. We'll go this way. All right, perfect, and we can strip these. How does that look? Okay, that looks great. We need some torches, of course. So let's see, F7. Put a torch on the fourth one. Four in between. No, I put it on the fourth one. There we go. All right, and we're gonna put it on the fourth one. On the fourth one. Uh, kind of looks weird, but we can fix that wall, make it look a little bit better. Hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna be using more tatami mats in here as well. So let's pave the edge. Oops remove that we can pave the edge like that oh yeah this needed to come down one stripped oak and then that needs to be a singular piece of scoria we'll go this way okay got some more snowballs <clears throat> let's see it is two from the edge, right? Two from the edge. And then tatami mats. Let's go. It's because the machines are in the way. Okay, so two from the edge. So everything back here looks fine. Looks fine. Like that. Okay. And then what we can do is we can go grab the tatami mats and let's make two paper lanterns. So let's see, for paper lanterns, we're going to need bamboo. Oh, I still have them over here, right? Where did I put the bamboo? There it is. Grab a stack of bamboo. We also need paper. We need glowstone. Let's see. Paper, whoops, and let's go two pieces of glowstone, paper lantern, pepper, <laughs> paper, paper lantern, we'll make two of these guys, and then I want these two to be special, so let's see, saplings, 
two saplings. We'll make them decorated paper lanterns. I think these look cool. And a great place to put these. Let's put them right here and see. Yeah, it does reach. Perfect. I wanted it to, to reach because this guy's a two by two. It's going to look weird. So there we go. We have paper lanterns on top. It needs to be scooted. Whoops. Let's grab this though. And that's our timer. All right, let's move this guy back one. Put it in the center. Kind of like that, yeah. We can toss the, this guy's still going, right? It's moving so slow. All right, we'll keep making steel. I'll keep working on this room. I'll put down tatami mats in the center. And then we can figure out what we're going to do with... Ah, oh, this does look weird. What we can do is we can... Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Power source. And uh, whatchamacallit. We can do bees. The beginning of next episode. I'm super excited. Bees look fun. It's a 1.16 mod. Thank you guys so much for joining today. Uh, go ahead and uh, follow on twitch.tv slash ddanicus as well as YouTube. And uh, don't forget to smash like on this video. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, thank you so much for joining and uh, I hope you have a good night. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. But be sure to yell boom really loud when you do. Loud enough to scare me in Texas.